The Adventures of Scarlet and Bailey by Maddie Woods. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Scarlet. She had a a sister named Bailey, a mom named Abigail, and a dad named John who worked in the mines. The family was very poor. Their idea of dinner was bread and a few berries. However, they thought it was just lovely because they had each other. The beds weren't great either, but they managed. One day, Bailey became very ill. Her parents needed to travel to a hospital, which was far away. They told Scarlet she would need to spend the night in the house alone. They told her to lock the door, but she forgot. The next morning, when she awoke, the house was trashed. She looked around in horror. Oh, no! I forgot to lock the door! She looked under the safe where their money was and saw it was empty. The money is gone, and it's all my fault! But wait! I have an idea! I'll go to the mine, and I'll take some gold for my family! Then I can fix this mess! She went to the mine and saw that it looked like it had just recently been abandoned. Torches were lit, or was dug up, and a mine cart was ready, right near the mine. But what she didn't know was that this was the Marble Mountain Mine, not the mine her dad worked at. There had been a collapse earlier that day, but Scarlet didn't know that, nor did she see the warning, do not enter sign. So she went into the cave anyways and began gathering ore. She soon filled the mine cart and was happy to think of how rich her family would be with all this gold. However, this was not to be. The mine started to shake, and it started to rumble, when suddenly... Scarlet was flattened by three rocks. Her parents heard the noise and were terrified to come when they saw her body. She was as flat as a pancake. Remember that little sick baby named Bailey? Well, she recovered, and she grew up to be a beautiful young girl. With a great sadness, her family would never let her out of the house. Bailey, it's getting late, John said. Go to bed. He had always been a bitter soul ever since his poor daughter died in the mines. He should have warned her about the dangers of unstable mines, but how could he have known? Bailey grudgingly went to bed, crawled into the covers, and fell asleep. I'm going to clean up the table, said her mother, Abigail. So she cleaned up the leftover food, and she too sadly went to bed. So it was just John. The sun went down and it became dark. He fell asleep holding the mining helmet, his only memory of his daughter. When someone entered the house, as they got near the candle, it flickered out. Father, father, wake up, said a voice. John bolted upright and dropped the mining helmet. Ah, who are you? He thought he must have been going crazy. This looked like a ghost, and it looked like his daughter, who had died ten years ago. Father... Set my sister free, or you will pay the price, the ghost of Scarlet moaned. I don't want what happened to you to happen to her, John said, but then he blacked out. With the courtesy of Scarlet's magic, he passed out behind his chair. Scarlet then floated across the shiny hardwood floor. She crept closer and closer to Bailey's bed. When she arrived, she said, Bailey, Bailey, wake up. Ah! Bailey screamed. Who are you? Are you a ghost? What? What? Scarlet told the whole story to Bailey, who immediately understood. Bailey, come with me. We can go exploring and go on adventures. In the night? Bailey said. No way! But she desperately wanted to get out of the house, so she left anyways. Bailey's gone! John woke to his wife screaming the next day. He walked up and saw the bed was empty. It was that rotten ghost, he said. The ghost took her, I tell you, the ghost. I don't believe you, Abigail said. But they sat down at the table, and he told her the whole story. Then she believed him. What other explanation could there be? Abigail and John grew old, and they missed their daughter dearly, but neither of them ever came back. Until one happy day... A dragon burst into the living room with Bailey and, a- and Bailey and Scarlet on its back. The girls' dresses were scruffy and Bailey's hair was messed up, but they were overjoyed to see their parents. Yay, you've come home, John said. And they all lived happily ever after. The end.